time. Bye. Have a good night. The Emo Monta X. Why I have not done a video about this all summer, I don't know, but it's been busy and that's okay. This bike is not talked about enough. This is your dual battery, dual motor, um, Monta X. It is a 48 volt, comes in a 14 amp hour, 17 and a half amp, amp hour, or 21, and a, uh, 21 amp hour. Starts at 35.99. And um, it's a beast. It, it really is a beast. So the first question that people ask me is, do you get um, more distance? No, you don't get more distance because you're drawing, uh, you're actually drawing from one battery at a time and then there's a toggle that I'll show you and then you go to the next battery. Um, Emo provides two chargers with it, which is pretty convenient. So you don't have to wait so, so long. Um, doggy. So um, it comes in the white and the black. They come with the mag wheels only. Um, by the way, there'll be an E-Wild X coming in the future, which is the fat tire version of this. So that's pretty cool. And um, it very much is just like the Monta where it's got the same tires, uh, the same speedometer, the same gears. You do have your hydraulic brakes. So this bike is gonna stop a little slower than what you anticipate, but it's because you've got so much power. So basically with this bike, your takeoff is, um, not jarring, but if you're not on the seat, like that seat's gonna <laughs> hit you a little bit, but you don't have to be that, that hard with the, uh, with the throttle. The point of this is to give you um, more uphill power because that's one of the things that can lack with e-bikes on all levels, like all uh, models is that their climbing ability can, you know, 15, 20 degrees, that's it. So this is your true, you know, climb over anything type of e-bike so I'll get you closer here so you know there's a lot of bike choices out there there really really are and I think that this closest one to this is obviously maybe going to be your Suron um, there are a lot of online like volts and rad and things like that and the difference with emo is is that it's a Canadian company just like they all are but they are um, having their bikes support other dealers like myself. And so you get to actually come to a dealer like myself and you get to test drive these. And then when you have an issue, if that comes up, you have a person to talk to and somewhere you can drop it off. And you know, that does, that not everybody needs that, but it is a huge appeal. And you know, you get to buy from me and how awesome is that? So. Um, so you've got your suspension at the front. It is on or off. You can turn that off. You've got your disc brakes, um, integrated front light, but uh, battery operated backlight. This is what I want to show you here. So you've got your middle position. And so this is off. Then you have your up bat, your battery that you're going to use here, your upper. When it's on up, it's using the top battery. Middle, you're not going to get any power. And then down is for your bottom battery, okay? So now that I'm gonna turn it up, you press and hold the M button, turns on your screen. Okay, same, same, Dasha, same as the other bikes. Now that the bike is on and it's on one, you've got throttle and you have pedal assist. Um, that's kind of in another video as well, but I just wanted to show you that. And then um, taking the battery in and out. This key does not turn your bike on or off, but it's absolutely essential to take your battery out. Um, and so if you leave your battery into charge, sure, you don't need it. Um, but the convenience of electric bicycles is that you can take the battery out really easily and then you can charge it on your kitchen table so you don't forget about it because you don't want to overcharge. And so that is like a little pin that pulls that down. So it keeps people from stealing it from you. Um, and that's why there's a key. Also, this is the charging port that you charge from. Make sure that that's closed every time that you go out. And you push that in and there you go. So you get two sets of keys with this and, um, and have fun. I'll tell you, have fun with this bike. It is um, very underrated, especially for its price point. Um, thank you very much for watching.